And less than two weeks after the Ministry of Home Affairs formed a high-level committee to implement Clause 6 of the Assam Accord, its chairman and former Union Tourism Secretary MP Bez Borwa stepped down from the panel, thus becoming the fifth to quit the proposed nine-member panel. Bez Borwa and other members had quit the committee in protest against the centre going ahead with the Citizenship Amendment Bill, which violates one of the basic provisions of the Assam Accord. And the retired bureaucrat spoke to North East Live editor-in-chief Wazbir Hussain over the phone on his decision to quit. Let's listen in. I am now joined by Mr. MP Bezborwa, former secretary to the government of India. Uh, Mr. Bezborwa, uh, you have uh, just uh, nominated the chairman of this high-level committee that was set up by the Union Home Ministry to go into Clause 6 of the Assam Accord. Uh, my first question to you, Mr. Bezborwa, what is the status of this committee now? Are you still the chairman of this committee? Well, I, uh, I can only say the facts from my side. It is that uh, I accepted to be, uh, I was asked to be a member of the committee and subsequently made a chairman. I accepted for two reasons. Firstly, I thought Clause 6 was a very important part of the uh, Assam Accord and its uh, implementation was essential for the Assamese um, society. Uh, that is the first reason. The second reason was that I had uh, seen uh, the, it was composed of uh, representatives, uh, respected persons from the, representing the Assamese society. Uh, so I tried to... Uh, get into the job quickly, but then I found that uh, uh, the members have already resigned or opted out. Right. So it was not possible to go forward. So if there is no possibility of going forward, then uh, I, I thought that uh, my position was untenable and redundant. Oh. And I have informed accordingly to the ministry. So I think it is for the ministry to decide what will be the future of the committee. Right. But technically, uh, that means as of now, uh, the committee is almost defunct. Uh, I thought the uh, committee without the public representatives uh, was already defunct because we could not meet and uh, take any decisions without uh, such consultations, which is a part of the whole process. Right. And so that is exactly what I have informed, that uh, de facto it becomes defunct. Right. Uh, one more thing, uh, Mr. Bezborwa. You know, the Clause 6 uh, of the Assam Accord, and as we all know, the Assam Accord was signed between the All Assam Students Union as, and the Government of India uh, with uh, representatives from the Government of Assam as well. Now, the question is, if a key stakeholder like the All Assam Students Union or the Kom uh, Haitohova, which are the leading civil society organizations, do not have their representatives, do you think uh, such a committee will be able to come up with proper recommendations uh, and the whole issue will become ab absolutely uh, meaningless. Well, uh, this is a clause for the uh, Assamese people, as uh, it says for the Assamese people. So the Assamese people uh, must be represented, whatever form it is, I don't know who represents Assamese society, but the voice of the Assamese society must be uh, there and it must be properly consultative with all elements of the society. By all elements, I mean it is a complex society, so uh, it should not exclude anyone.